staff, volunteers, and over 90,000 families from the world over, welcome to Give Kids the World. 83-year-old Henry Landworth started Give Kids the World 23 years ago. He says he never dreamed it would be like this today. In fact, Henry never dreamed he'd be alive today. So when you talk about the odds that, that he beat to be the success that he is, not just in terms of money or stature or those things, but in terms of what he's done to make a difference in their lives, you know, it's immeasurable. Pam Landworth is president of Give Kids the World. She says Henry founded this family fantasy land out of a great need to strengthen sick children, to give them hope, inspire them, to provide them and their families a magical, memorable week they'll always cherish at no cost. Yeah, you know, when you talk about success against the odds, I don't think you could measure it any greater than what success Henry's had over some of the most insurmountable odds that you can imagine. Henry's own childhood was no dream, but a real life nightmare. He was born in Belgium, and then right before the outbreak of World War II, his family moved to Poland, and um, that's where they were taken into concentration camps. Early on, Henry's father was shot. His mother was also killed. From ages 13 to 18, Henry lived a horrific life, a victim of the Holocaust. That's what Henry came from. So I think you can understand, you know, he just lost all control of his childhood and he never knew if he was going to live from day to day. Um, didn't know what they were going to do with him and was just very blessed for he and his sister to come out alive. And they were marched out with, um, by um, some German soldiers and under the orders of just shooting them. And for some reason, instead, they dropped their guns and just told him to run. And he just ran and ran and ran. Henry immigrated to the United States with many obstacles ahead. He didn't speak the language, he didn't know anyone, and he had no money. He did have the proverbial $20 in his pocket, and he landed in New York City along with everyone else, and um, that's what started him you know, on his path to success here. Henry's path led him to the hotel business where he worked his way up by learning every job in the industry. His work ethic, resolve, and self-motivation, all key elements of the book Success Against the Odds, made Henry stand out from the rest. And I think that would be a message that he would share as we are living in the land of opportunity, that um, just don't be afraid to take chances, don't be afraid to take risks, and don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Henry eventually bought his own Holiday Inn franchise. It was about three miles from the front gate of Disney, and it really was the most successful of all. He had others along the way. Probably the most he ever had at one time was four, but this was the, the one that, that catapulted him. Pam says Give Kids the World is Henry's greatest accomplishment. His secret to success? I think forgiveness, I think that was really key. I think it's always being open to new opportunities. Um, you know, one of my favorite quotes is the two most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day you discover why. And I think that was very key for Henry when he realized that he was spared for a reason and you can either squander that purpose or you can choose to make a difference and he chose to make a huge difference and he's done that. So you don't have to wait for a magical year or a magical number or a magical amount in your bank account. It's start today. Start making a difference today. My advice is to think about others less fortunate as you are and do everything you can to help them.